today I'm going to be making a summer fruit pudding, which is one of my favourite desserts, although we know I love all desserts. But this is particularly great in the summer when you want something for entertaining and the weather's quite warm and you don't want the oven on, you don't want to be baking and you want something slim and world friendly. So to start with, we're going to need some frozen summer berries, um, any brand will do. You are going to need two cups of those. You'll need some fruit tea bags, again, any fruit tea that you like. Some sweetener, I've got the Candorel Stevia. You'll need four slices of wholemeal. This is for making two individual summer fruit pudding. You'll need one vanilla bean pod and a few spoonfuls of fromage fray. I think I've got about four spoonfuls here. In terms of apparatus, you're going to need a measuring jug, a chopping board, some cookie cutters. I've got a two, a two and a half, and a three inch cookie cutter here. You're going to need some mini molds, um, or you can use a ramekin dish if you want. You're going to need a cling film, essential couple of saucers and a chopping board and a very sharp knife for the vanilla bean. So I've taken the frozen fruits out of the freezer and it's defrosting in the bowl. Normally a summer fruit pudding has cooked fruit in it but we're not going to be cooking this fruit and the reason that I'm using frozen fruit is because when it's defrosted it's softer than fresh fruit. On Slimming World cooked fruit has sin value as we call it and that is why I'm using frozen fruit that's been defrosted instead of regular fruit that has been cooked. So your fruit is sitting there, you've got two cups of fruit for two individual summer fruit puddings and we're going to make a syrup. To do this we will need one tea bag and we're going to let the tea bag sit and brew in 150 ml of water. for a couple of minutes. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to line our moulds with cling film. This is so that it's easy to get the summer fruit puddings out. And this is essential. It's not a shortcut worth taking as I found out before. So cling film, everybody's least favourite material. you want a little bit over the edges so that you can fold it over the top once we've finished. Yeah, that's that one. And do the same with this one. And we'll do the same with this one. Next up we're going to cut the bread and we've got our board and our three cutters. Uh, we're going to need two of each size. So first we've got the small and the medium sized cutters. And now 60 grams of wholemeal bread is a healthy extra on the Slimming World plan. Once you cut the bread out each summer fruit pudding has the equivalent of 30 grams of bread, which means you've still got enough of an allowance to have a slice of toast in the morning. A 
and I wouldn't waste the leftover bread either. I would let your kids feed it to the ducks if that's allowed in your local area, or you can use it for breadcrumbs for other dishes. So I've got a, a large piece, a medium piece, and a small piece, and I'm going to do the same again. If you don't have cookie cutters, you could get a glass and cut around it with a knife, but a cookie cutter is much easier. bread ready we've got two small pieces two medium and two large and some bits for the ducks right next we're coming back to our syrup okay next we're coming back to our syrup and we can remove the tea bag give it a good old squeeze slightly better in warm water as opposed to cold water. And we're going to use four dessert spoons of this. And while that might sound like a lot of sweetener, that works out the equivalent of two dessert spoons per person. Okay, so we've got the chopping board and we've got our sharp knife. The first thing we want to do is cut lengthways all the way down the vanilla bean pod. And you've got to watch your fingers. And it's been said by me and others before that my knife skills are not the best, so apologies. halfway through. Now we're going to use half of this now and half of this with the fromage fray later. I'm going to put this half to the side and then you can see inside the pod we're going to scrape it out, flatten it open slightly and I'm going to scrape it out with the knife. You can see these tiny little pods. It's very strong flavour, so it may look like a very small amount of substance, but you'd be surprised at how much flavour it can give you. Okay, so we're going to put the vanilla bean into our syrup. Just 
stir that through into the syrup. So by now your fruit is probably semi-defrosted, but what we're going to do is we're going to pour the syrup onto the fruit so it will then mix with any of the juices that have, have come out of the fruit and also it will finish defrosting the, the fruit so that we're ready for assembly. to assemble the summer fruit pudding. We we'll take our moulds which are wrapped in cling film and the first thing we're going to do is take the smallest piece of bread and we're going to dip it in the fruit syrup. And you just, just dip it one side, that's fine. And then you're going to put the wet syrupy side facing downwards in the tin. same on the other one. It doesn't matter if you get a bit of syrup on both sides but essentially you only need the syrup on, on the one side. And then we're going to start with our layering and we're going to put a couple of spoonfuls of the fruit onto each of the moulds on top of the bread. We're going to take another piece of bread and we're going to dip it in the syrup. And put it syrup side down. And again on the other one, dip it in the syrup. Syrup side down in the mould. And then we're just going to press the bread down really want to be squishing it but just press it so that it's fitted and then we're going to spoon some more fruit on depending on the size of your mould you may not use all the fruit but it's actually better to have a little bit extra than not have enough to fill your moulds and if you've got some left over then it's lovely just to have the fruit with the syrup and a bit of natural yoghurt this time you want to fill it pretty much to the top with fruit. And in actual fact, for my two moulds I would have used virtually all of my two cups of fruit. As much fruit as you can get in the better. like me you've got some little tiny little berries left over in the bowl then squish them into any of the gaps and then we're going to put a couple of spoons of syrup over each one I think a generous dessert spoon and a half suffice over each one. Syrup. And then we're going to take our final pieces of bread and you've probably got just enough syrup for another last dipping. This time we want to dip it each side. 
nice and messy and then carefully lift it onto your mould. This is where I advise you to lift the cling film up a little bit because when we squish it down now you're going to get some juices that are going to come out. Maybe even spray at you, which is why I'm wearing a apron. Don't you just love cling film? Okay. There we go, we're going to press that in around the edges so it's just inside the mould. Doesn't matter if it's slightly uh, heat. Perfect. And I'm going to fold the cling film over it tightly. will get a little bit of juice seep out at the edge so just be careful. Okay, so now, the reason that we've got sauces is to actually just weigh it down a little bit. So I've put the saucer on top, and yes, we might get some juice come out, it can be cleared up. But it's better that way than having not enough juice in them, and they look a little bit anemic. Okay, so now we're going to put them in our fridge just so that they can firm up and we're going to leave them for about two to three hours. And I would advise putting them on a piece of kitchen roll in the fridge just to reduce the amount of mess that you might have to clean up in the fridge afterwards. Now I've got these in the fridge and I'll be back in a couple of hours to show you what came out. Hello. Okay, so now we're ready to plate up the summer fruit pudding. Um, to go with it, I've made a vanilla yogurty cream, but it has neither yogurt nor cream in it. It's actually the fromage fray, and I've put in it the remaining vanilla bean that I scraped out of the pod, and one teaspoon of sweetener, and that makes a nice sort of sauce to go with it. And we're going to get a little bit messy on plating it, but They've gone down in size from the weight of the saucer. So I'm up just going to simply unwrap the cling film. Put the plate upside down on top of it. Flip it over. And then you can literally lift the container off with the cling film. Slowly pressing the top of it. it works twice and it wasn't a, a lucky attempt summer fruit puddings. Just have some vanilla sauce on the side. And there you have it. A sin-free summer fruit pudding.